Strasbourg. Strasbourg is the capital and largest city of the Grand Est region of France and is the official seat of the European Parliament. Located at the border with Germany in the historic region of Alsace, it is the capital of the Bas-Rhin department. In 2016, the city proper had 279,284 inhabitants and both the Euro Metropole de Strasbourg, Greater Strasbourg, and the arrondissement of Strasbourg had 491,409 inhabitants. Strasbourg's metropolitan area had a population of 780,515 in 2015, not counting the section across the border in Germany, making it the ninth largest metro area in France and home to 13% of the Grand Est region's inhabitants. The transnational Euro district Strasbourg Orde now had a population of 915,000 inhabitants in 2014. Strasbourg is one of the de facto capitals of the European Union, alongside Brussels and Luxembourg, as it is the seat of several European institutions, such as the Council of Europe, with its European Court of Human Rights, its European Directorate for the Quality of Medicines and its European Audiovisual Observatory, and the Eurocorps, as well as the European Parliament and the European Ombudsman of the European Union. The city is also the seat of the Central Commission for Navigation on the Rhine and the International Institute of Human Rights. Strasbourg's historic city center, the Grand Isle, Grand Island, was classified a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1988, the first time such an honor was placed on an entire city center. Strasbourg is immersed in Franco-German culture and although violently disputed throughout history, has been a cultural bridge between France and Germany for centuries, especially through the University of Strasbourg, currently the second largest in France, and the coexistence of Catholic and Protestant culture. It is also home to the largest Islamic place of worship in France, the Strasbourg Grand Mosque. Economically, Strasbourg is an important center of manufacturing and engineering, as well as a hub of road, rail, and river transportation. The port of Strasbourg is the second largest on the Rhine after Duisburg, Germany. Before the 5th century, the city was known as Argenturati, in the nominative, Argenturate in the locative, a Celtic Gaulish name Latinized first as Argenturate with Gaulish locative ending, as appearing on the first Roman milestones in the 1st century CE, and then as Argenturatum, with regular Latin nominative ending, in later Latin texts. That Gaulish name is a compound of reti, the Gaulish word for fortified enclosures, cognate to the old Irish rath, see Ringfort, and Arganto n, cognate to Latin Argentum, which gave modern French Argent, the Gaulish word for silver, but also any precious metal, particularly gold suggesting either a fortified enclosure located by a river gold mining site, or hoarding gold mined in the nearby rivers. After the 5th century, the city became known by a completely different name Gallicized as Strasbourg, Lower Alsatian, Strasbourg, that name is of Germanic origin and means town, at the crossing, of roads. The modern Stras is cognate to the German Strasse and English Street, all of which are derived from Latin Strata, paved road, while Burg is cognate to the German Burg and English Borough all of which are derived from Proto-Germanic Bergs, Hill Fort, Fortress. Gregory of Tours was the first to mention the name change, in the tenth book of his History of the Franks written shortly after 590 he said that Ahedius, Bishop of Reims, accused of plotting against King Shieldebert II of Austrasia in favor of his uncle King Shieldperic I of Neustria, was tried by a synod of Austrasian bishops in Metz in November 590, found guilty and removed from the priesthood then taken at Argentura Tensumurbum, Guam Nung Stratoburgum Bokent, to the city of Argentoratum, which they now call Stratoburgus, where he was exiled. Strasbourg is situated at the eastern border of France with Germany. This border is formed by the Rhine, which also forms the eastern border of the modern city, facing across the river to the German town Kael. The historic core of Strasbourg however lies on the Grand Isle and the River Ill, which here flows parallel to, and roughly from, the Rhine. The natural courses of the two rivers eventually join some distance downstream of Strasbourg, although several artificial waterways now connect them within the city. The city lies in the Upper Rhine Plain, at between and above sea level, with the upland areas of the Vosges Mountains some to the west and the Black Forest to the east. This section of the Rhine Valley is a major axis of north-south travel, with river traffic on the Rhine itself, and major roads and railways parallel in it on both banks. The city is some east of Paris. The mouth of the Rhine lies approximately to the north, or as the river flows, whilst the head of navigation in Basel is some south, or by river. In spite of its position far inland, 
Strasbourg's climate is classified as oceanic, Köppen climate classification CFB, with warm, relatively sunny summers and cool, overcast winters. Precipitation is elevated from mid-spring to the end of summer, but remains largely constant throughout the year, totaling annually. On average, snow falls 30 days per year. The highest temperature ever recorded was in August 2003, during the 2003 European heat wave. The lowest temperature ever recorded was in December 1938. Strasbourg's location in the Rhine Valley, sheltered from the dominant winds by the Vosges and Black Forest Mountains, results in poor natural ventilation, making Strasbourg one of the most atmospherically polluted cities of France. Nonetheless, the progressive disappearance of heavy industry on both banks off the Rhine, as well as effective measures of traffic regulation in and around the city have reduced air pollution. The Roman camp of Argentoratum was first mentioned in 12 BC, the city of Strasbourg which grew from it celebrated its 2000th anniversary in 1988. The fertile area between the rivers Ill and Rhine, Grand Reed and Petit Reed, had already been populated since the Middle Paleolithic. Between 362 and 1262, Strasbourg was governed by the bishops of Strasbourg, their rule was reinforced in 873 and then more in 982. In 1262, the citizens violently rebelled against the bishops' rule, Battle of Hausbergen, and Strasbourg became a free imperial city. It became a French city in 1681, after the conquest of Alsace by the armies of Louis XIV. In 1871, after the Franco Prussian War, the city became German again, until 1918, end of World War I, when it reverted to France. After the defeat of France in 1940, World War II, Strasbourg came under German control again. Since the end of 1944, it is again a French town. In 2016, Strasbourg was promoted from capital of Alsace to capital of Grand Est. Strasbourg played an important part in Protestant Reformation, with personalities such as John Calvin, Martin Bootser, Wolfgang Capito, Matthew, and Katharina Zell, but also in other aspects of Christianity such as German mysticism, with Johannes Thaler, Pietism, with Philip Spinner, and reverence for life with Albert Schweitzer. Delegates from the city took part in the protestation at Speyer. It was also one of the first centers of the printing industry with pioneers such as Johannes Gutenberg, Johannes Mendelin, and Heinrich Eggestein. Among the darkest periods in the city's long history were years 1349, Strasbourg Massacre, 1793, Reign of Terror, 1870, Siege of Strasbourg, and the years 1940-1944 with the Nazi occupation, atrocities such as the Jewish Skeleton Collection, and the British and American bombing raids. Some other notable dates were the years 357, Battle of Argentoratum, 842, Oaths of Strasbourg, 1538, Establishment of the University, 1605, World's First Newspaper Printed by Johann Carolus, 1792, La Marseillaise, and 1889, Pancreatic Origin of Diabetes Discovered by Minkowski and von Mering. Strasbourg is the seat of European institutions since 1949, first of the International Commission on Civil Status and of the Council of Europe, later of the European Parliament, of the European Science Foundation, of Eurocorps, and others as well. Strasbourg is divided into the following districts. The city is chiefly known for its sandstone Gothic cathedral with its famous astronomical clock, and for its medieval cityscape of Rhineland black and white timber framed buildings, particularly in the Petite France district or Gerbervertel, Tanner's district, alongside the Ill and in the streets and squares surrounding the cathedral, where the renowned Maison Camersel stands out. Notable medieval streets include Rue Mercier, Rue des Dantel, Rue du Baino Planté, Rue des Juifs, Rue des Frères. Rue des Tunneliers, Rue du Moroccan, Rue des Charpentiers, Rue des Serruriers, Grand Rue, Quai des Bateliers, Quai Saint Nicolas, and Quai Saint Thomas. Notable medieval squares include Place de la Cathedrale, Place du Marche Gayot, Place Saint Etienne, Place du Marche au Cochon de Lay, and Place Benjamin VI. In addition to the cathedral, Strasbourg houses several other medieval churches that have survived the many wars and destructions that have plagued the city. The Romanesque Eglise Saint Etienne, partly destroyed in 1944 by Allied bombing raids, the part Romanesque, part Gothic, very large Eglise Saint Thomas with its Silberman organ on which Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart and Albert Schweitzer played, 
The Gothic Eglise protest on saint pierre le Jeune, with its script dating back to the 7th century and its cloister partly from the 11th century, the Gothic Eglise saint Guillaume, with its fine early Renaissance stained glass and furniture, the Gothic Eglise Saint-Jean, the part Gothic, part Art Nouveau Eglise saint Madeleine, etc. The Neo-Gothic Church saint pierre le Vieux Catholique, there is also an adjacent church saint pierre le Vieux Protestant serves as a shrine for several 15th century woodworked and painted altars coming from other, now destroyed churches and installed there for public display, especially the Passion of Christ. Among the numerous secular medieval buildings, the monumental Ancien Duan, Old Custom House, stands out. The German Renaissance has bequeathed the city some noteworthy buildings, especially the current Chambre de Commerce at d'Industrie, former town hall, on Place Gutenberg as did the French Baroque and Classicism with several hotel particuliers, i.e. palaces, among which the Palais Rohan, 1742, now housing three museums, is the most spectacular. Other buildings of its kind are the Hotel de Hanau, 1736, now the City Hall, the Hotel de Klinglin, 1736, now residence of the Préfet, the Hotel de Dupont, 1755, now residence of the Military Governor, the Hotel Dandlau Klinglin, 1725, now seat of the administration of the Port Autonome de Strasbourg, etc. The largest Baroque building of Strasbourg though is the 1720s main building of the Hôpital Civil. As for French neoclassicism, it is the opera house on Place Broglie that most prestigiously represents this style. Strasbourg also offers high-class eclecticist buildings in its very extended German district, the Neustadt being the main memory of Wilhelmian architecture since most of the major cities in Germany proper suffered intensive damage during World War II. Streets, boulevards and avenues are homogeneous, surprisingly high, up to seven stories, and broad examples of German urban layout and of this architectural style that summons and mixes up five centuries off European architecture as well as Neo-Egyptian, Neo-Greek and Neo-Babylonian styles. The former imperial palace Palais du Rhin the most political anthus heavily criticized of all German Strasbourg buildings epitomizes the grand scale and stylistic sturdiness of this period. But the two most handsome and ornate buildings of these times are the École Internationale des Pontoniers, the former Hohir Matkinschule, Girls' College, with its towers, turrets and multiple round and square angles and the Hôtel des Arts du Rhin with its lavishly ornate façade of painted bricks, woodwork and majolica. Notable streets of the German district include Avenue de la Forêt Noire, Avenue des Vosges, Avenue d'Alsace, Avenue de la Marseillaise, Avenue de la Liberté, Boulevard de la Victoire, Rue Salonique, Rue du Général de Castelnau, Rue du Maréchal Foch, and Rue du Maréchal Joffrey. Notable squares of the German district include Place de la République, Place de l'Université, Place Brandt, and Place Arnold. Impressive examples of Prussian military architecture of the 1880s can be found along the newly reopened Rue du Rumpar, displaying large-scale fortifications among which the aptly named Kriegster, War Gate. As for modern and contemporary architecture, Strasbourg possesses some fine Art Nouveau buildings, such as the huge Palais des Fates and houses and villas like Villa Schutzenberger and Hotel Bryan, good examples of post-World War II functional architecture, the site Rotterdam for which Le Corbusier did not succeed in the architectural contest, and, in the very extended Cartier Européen, some spectacular administrative buildings of sometimes utterly large size, among which the European Court of Human Rights building by Richard Rogers is arguably the finest. Other noticeable contemporary buildings are the new music school Cité de la Musique at de la Danse, the Musée d'Armadernet Contemporain and the Hôtel du Département facing it, as well as, in the outskirts, the tramway station Hohenheim Nord designed by Zaha Hadid. The city has many bridges, including the medieval and four-towered Pone Couverts that, despite their name, are no longer covered. Next to the Pone Couverts is the Barrage Vauban, a part of Vauban's 17th century fortifications, that does include a covered bridge. Other bridges are the ornate 19th century Pont de la Fonderie, 1893, stone, and Pont d'Auvergne, 1892, iron as well as architect Mark Mimram's futuristic passerelle over the Rhine, opened in 2004. The largest square at the center of the city of Strasbourg is the Place Glaber. Located in the heart of the city's commercial area, it was named after General Jean-Baptiste Glaber, born in Strasbourg in 1753 and assassinated in 1800 in Cairo. In the square is a statue of Glaber, under which is a vault containing his remains. 
On the north side of the square is the Aubet, orderly room, built by Jacques-Francois Blondel, architect of the king, in 1765-1772. Strasbourg features a number of prominent parks, of which several are of cultural and historical interest, the Parc de la Rancherie, laid out as a French garden beyond rail in Notre and remodeled as an English garden on behalf of Josephine de Beauharnais now displaying noteworthy French gardens, a neoclassical castle and a small zoo, the Parc de la Citadelle, built around impressive remains of the 17th-century fortress erected close to the Rhine by Vauban, the Parc de Portales, laid out in English style around a Baroque castle, heavily restored in the 19th century, that now houses a small three-star hotel, and featuring an open-air museum of international contemporary sculpture. The Jardin Botanique de l'Université de Strasbourg, Botanical Garden, was created under the German administration next to the Observatory of Strasbourg, built in 1881, and still owns some greenhouses of those times. The Parc des Contades, although the oldest park of the city, was completely remodeled after World War II. The futuristic Parc des Pateries is an example of European park conception in the late 1990s. The Jardin des Deux Rives, spread over Strasbourg and Kale on both sides of the Rhine opened in 2004 and is the most extended, 60 hectare. Park of the Agglomeration. The most recent park is Parc du Hayats, 8, 7 hectares, opened in 2014 along the canal facing the Hôpital Civil. For a city of comparatively small size, Strasbourg displays a large quantity and variety of museums. Unlike most other cities, Strasbourg's collections of European art are divided into several museums according not only to type and area, but also to epoch. Old master paintings from the Germanic Rhenish territories and until 1681 are displayed in the Musée de Louvre Notre Dame, old master paintings from all the rest of Europe, including the Dutch Rhenish territories, and until 1871 as well as old master paintings from the Germanic Rhenish territories between 1681 and 1871 are displayed in the Musée des Beaux-Arts. Old master graphic arts until 1871 is displayed in the Cabinet des Estampes et de Saint. Decorative arts until 1681. German period, are displayed in the Musée de Louvre Notre Dame, decorative arts from 1681 to 1871, French period, are displayed in the Musée des Arts Décoratifs. International art, painting, sculpture, graphic arts, and decorative arts since 1871 is displayed in the Musée d'Art Moderne et Contemporain. The latter museum also displays the city's photographic library. The Université de Strasbourg is in charge of a number of permanent public displays of its collections of scientific artifacts and products of all kinds of exploration and research. The metropolitan area of Strasbourg had a population of 768,868 inhabitants in 2012, French side of the border only, while the transnational Euro district had a population of 915,000 inhabitants in 2014. Strasbourg is the seat of internationally renowned institutions of music and drama and other theaters are the Theater Jeune Public, the Tap Scala, the Cafter. Strasbourg, well known as center of humanism, has a long history of excellence in higher education, at the crossroads of French and German intellectual traditions. Although Strasbourg had been annexed by the Kingdom of France in 1683, it still remained connected to the German-speaking intellectual world throughout the 18th century and the university attracted numerous students from the Holy Roman Empire, including Goethe, Metternich, and Montgala, who studied law in Strasbourg, among the most prominent. With 19 Nobel Prizes in total, Strasbourg is the most eminent French university outside of Paris. Up until January 2009 there were three universities in Strasbourg, with an approximate total of 48,500 students. Another 4,500 students are being taught a tone of the diverse postgraduate schools. Since January 1, 2009, those three universities have merged and constitute now the Université de Strasbourg. Schools part of the Université de Strasbourg include International schools include Multiple levels For elementary education For middle school slash junior high school education For senior high school slash sixth form college the Bibliothèque Nationale et Universitaire, BNU, is, with its collection of more than 3 million titles, the second largest library in France after the Bibliothèque Nationale de France. It was founded by the German administration after the complete destruction of the previous municipal library in 1871 and holds the unique status of being simultaneously a student's and a national library. 
The Strasbourg Municipal Library had been marked erroneously as City Hall in a French commercial map, which had been captured and used by the German artillery to lay their guns. A librarian from Munich later pointed out that the destruction of the precious collection was not the fault of a German artillery officer, who used the French map, but of the slovenly and inaccurate scholarship of a Frenchman. The Municipal Library Bibliothèque Municipale de Strasbourg, BMS, administrates a network of 10 medium-sized libraries in different areas of the town. A six-stories high grand bibliothèque, the Mediathèque André Malraux was inaugurated on September 19, 2008 and is considered the largest in eastern France. As one of the earliest centers of book printing in Europe, see above, history, Strasbourg for a long time held a large number of incunabula, documents printed before 1500, in her library is one of her most precious heritages. After the total destruction of this institution in 1870, however, a new collection had to be reassembled from scratch. Today, Strasbourg's different public and institutional libraries again display a sizable total number of incunabula, distributed as follows, Bibliothèque Nationale et Universitaire, ca. 2098 Mediathèque de la Ville et de la Communauté Urbaine de Strasbourg, 394 Bibliothèque du Grand Seminaire, 238 Mediathèque Protestante, 94 and Bibliothèque Alsatique du Crédit Mutuel, 5. Train services operate from the Gare de Strasbourg, the city's main station in the city center, eastward to Offenburg and Karlsruhe in Germany, westward to Metz in Paris, and southward to Basel. Strasbourg's links with the rest of France have improved due to its recent connection to the TGB network, with the first phase of the TGB Est, Paris Strasbourg, in 2007, the TGB Rhin Rhone, Strasbourg Lyon, in 2012, and the second phase of the TGB Est in July 2016. Strasbourg also has its own airport, serving major domestic destinations as well as international destinations in Europe and Northern Africa. The airport is linked to the Gare de Strasbourg by a frequent train service. City transportation in Strasbourg includes the futurist looking Strasbourg tramway that opened in 1994 and is operated by the regional transit company Companionities Transport Strasbourg Ois, CTS, consisting of six lines with a total length of the CTS also operates a comprehensive bus network throughout the city that is integrated with the trams. With more than a bicycle paths, biking in the city is convenient and the CTS operates a cheap bike sharing scheme named Vilhop. The CTS, and its predecessors, also operated a previous generation of tram system between 1878 and 1960, complemented by trolleybus routes between 1939 and 1962. Being a city on the Ill and close to the Rhine, Strasbourg has always been an important center of fluvial navigation, as is attested by archaeological findings. In 1682, the Canal de la Bruche was added to the river navigations, initially to provide transport for sandstone from quarries in the Vosges for use in the fortification of the city. That canal has since closed, but the subsequent Canal du Rhône Rhine, Canal de la Marne Rhine, and Grand Canal d'Alsace are still in use, as is the important activity of the Port Autonome de Strasbourg. Water tourism inside the city proper attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists yearly. The tram system that now crisscrosses the historic city center complements walking and biking in it. The center has been transformed into a pedestrian priority zone that enables and invites walking and biking by making these active modes of transport comfortable, safe and enjoyable. These attributes are accomplished by applying the principle of filtered permeability to the existing irregular network of streets. It means that the network adaptations favor active transportation and, selectively, filter out the car by reducing the number of streets that run through the center. While certain streets are discontinuous for cars, they connect to a network of pedestrian and bike paths which permeate the entire center. In addition, these paths go through public squares and open spaces increasing the enjoyment of the trip. This logic of filtering a mode of transport is fully expressed in a comprehensive model for laying out neighborhoods and districts, the fused grid. At present the A35 autoroute, which parallels the Rhine between Karlsruhe and Basel, and the A4 autoroute, which links Paris with Strasbourg, penetrate close to the center of the city. The Grand Contournement West, GCO, project, programmed since 1999, plans to construct a highway connection between the junctions of the A4 and the A35 autoroutes in the north and of the A35 and A352 autoroutes in the south. This routes well to the west of the city and is meant to divest a significant portion of motorized traffic from the Unité Urban. The average amount of time people spend commuting with public transit in Strasbourg, 
for example to and from work, on a weekday as 52 minimum 7% of public transit riders, ride for more than 2 hours every day. The average amount of time people wait at a stop or station for public transit is 9 minutes, while 11% of riders wait for over 20 minutes on average every day. The average distance people usually ride in a single trip with public transit is, while 0% travel for over in a single direction. Strasbourg is the seat of over 20 international institutions, most famously of the Council of Europe and of the European Parliament, of which it is the official seat. Strasbourg is considered the legislative and democratic capital of the European Union, while Brussels is considered the executive and administrative capital and Luxembourg the judiciary and financial capital. Strasbourg is the seat of the following organizations, among others. France and Germany have created a Euro district straddling the Rhine, combining the Greater Strasbourg and the Ordinal district of Baden Württemberg, with some common administration. It was established in 2005 and is fully functional since 2010. Sporting teams from Strasbourg are the Racing Club de Strasbourg Alsace, football, Strasbourgig, basketball, and the Etoile Noir, ice hockey. The women's tennis Internationaux de Strasbourg is one of the most important French tournaments of its kind outside Roland Garros. In 1922, Strasbourg was the venue for the 16th Grand Prix de l'A.C.F., which saw Fiat Battle Bugatti, Ballot, Roland Pilon, and Britain's Aston Martin and Sunbeam. Honors associated with the city of Strasbourg. In chronological order, notable people born in Strasbourg include Eric of Friuli, Johannes Thaler. Sebastian Brandt, Jean-Baptiste Clubert, Louis Ramon de Carbonniers, François-Christophe Kellerman, Marie Tussaud, Ludwig I of Bavaria, Charles Frederick Gerhardt, Louis Frederick Schutzenberger, Gustave Doré, Emil Valteufel, René B., Jean-Hans Arp, Charles Munch, Hans Bita, Maurice Kriegel Valremont, Marcel Marceau, Tommy Ungerer, Arsène Wenger, Petty, and Matt Pokora. In chronological order, Notable residents of Strasbourg include, Johannes Gutenberg, Hans Baldung, Martin Bootser, John Calvin, Joachim Meyer, Johann Carolus, Johann Wolfgang Goethe, Jacob Michael Reinhold Lenz, Clemens Wenzel von Metternich, Georg Buschner, Louis Pasteur, Ferdinand Braun, Albrecht Kossel, Georg Simmel, Albert Schweitzer, Otto Klamperer, Mark Bloch, Alberto Fujimori, Marjane Satrapi, Paul Rigour and Jean-Marie Lane. Strasbourg is twinned with. Strasbourg has cooperative agreements with. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.